Hello and welcome to this Pharaoh with the Cleopatra Queen of the Nile patch enabled. This is very small. Oh, and it's all bugged. Okay. <laughs> I'm using a, a third party widescreen patch. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Never never read. Your family begins the pre-dynastic period, leading a small band of nomads through their discovery of the arts of civilization. <laughs> it's so the text is so small. Your leadership helps to set Egypt on its course to eventual greatness. Still glimpsed only dimly okay well that's very very something it is said that the journey of a thousand miles oh, yeah. begins with one step so may the story of a great nation begin with one dream the red land has given birth to such a dream clans of nomads carry it in their heart across the immeasurable desert and into the land of Egypt. Ooh. Welcome, Welcome to ancient, to ancient Egypt. Egypt. Oh, he's already saying. Pharaohs. Here you'll participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. In an epic story that spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations. You must lead one family, generation by generation, from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory, through the dawn of civilization, to the establishment of a unique and powerful empire and beyond. Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago, along the banks of the Nile River in an area known as Nupt. Here, a small confederacy of clans struggles to eke out an existence in the harsh environment. With you at its head, your family leads this small settlement. Okay. That's good music. <laughs> My screen is so big that some of the map doesn't exist. The first things this village will need are housing to provide settlers with a suitable place to live and a network of roads to allow its eventual inhabitants to find their way around easily and efficiently. Build areas of housing and you'll soon see people move into the village. Roads. Click and drag the mouse to drag. Build long lengths of road at one time. At every intersection walkers must choose which way to go so each intersection increases lessens your control over the, their actual routes. Plan roads carefully with as few intersections as possible to ensure that people walk where you want them to. The path by which these immigrants reach your city is known as the Kingdom Road. Migrants always need free passage from the Kingdom Road to the city's housing areas. If you isolate some neighborhood from this vital link to the outside world, its homes will simply disappear. Exit any message panel like this one. Click your right mouse button. All right. I've watched other videos on YouTube about this that show like the optimal best way to do this, but I build my houses in a different way. That's not where I wanted that road. I like to build them this way. <laughs> Boom.
All right. There's a way to change the speed with just the keyboard. But I don't know it. So I'm going to just bump that up to 100. A growing population needs a reliable source of food and some means of storing and distributing it. Certain animals, like the ostriches in this region, can be hunted for game. Granaries store game and other foods, while bazaars distribute the food to the village's inhabitants. As with most working structures, in order to function properly, these buildings must be located within reach of housing, and the city must have enough workers to staff them. Hunting for food. Build a hunting lodge close to the ostrich flax flocks, and hunters will set out in search of prey. If successful, they'll bring the carcasses back to the lodge to be butchered. After which... Shouldn't after which be like one word? Isn't after which one word? One second. After... Uh, no, I guess after woods is... After which is two words. Why did I think it was one word? Okay, whatever. After which, a cart pusher will deliver them to the nearest granary for storage. Different workers from the bazaar assess the needs of the neighbourhoods they serve, acquire food from nearby granaries, and deliver this food to the houses in their immediate vicinity to meet these needs. Ah, pardon my sneezing, I'm back. Build granaries and bazaars by clicking on the storage and distribution structures button. Ultimately, your goal in this mission is to transform some of your crude huts into meager shanties. This is accomplished by providing them with water and food from the bazaar. Also, make sure they are not too close to any unsightly industrial buildings or inferior housing, which discourages home improvements by lowering the desi desirability of the area. You will eventually learn various ways to increase an area's desirability. For now, though, simply avoid locating homes too near to industries. Overseers. An overseer of the granaries is now available to, to provide information and advice. In time, you will have many advisors to help run your city. Okay. Oops. Granary. Hunting lodge. Bazaar. A fire has broken out in the village. To protect against future fires, you can now build firehouses. Like most non-residential buildings in the village, the firehouse needs workers in order to operate. To find employees, someone is dispatched from the building in search of occupied houses. Once some housing is located, the building has access to employees though this does not necessarily mean there are enough workers in the village to fill all vacant jobs. Once staffed, the firehouse can send fire marshals out to patrol the village. Fire marshals inspect buildings on their routes for fire hazards, reducing their risk of catching fire as they pass. Fire marshals can provide their services to any building within two spaces of a road. If he discovers a fire, the marshal moves in to douse the flames with buckets of water, then returns to his normal patrol. Click on Overlays, colon, Risks to see which buildings are in danger of catching fire. If a building burns down, you can right-click on the pile of rubble left behind to learn what was there before the fire. When you hear the chime that sounded when this panel appeared, that means a message has arrived for you. To read a message, <laughs> click on the message button. <laughs> oh, I was doing that like a proper fella. Some urgent messages, like this one, are <laughs> uh, doing it like 
you know, pseudo professionally is amusing to me, so I'm going to continue. Some urgent messages, like this one, are presented to you before being stored with your other messages. Less urgent notices go directly to your message box without being specially displayed. It's hard to read this small. Oh. So be sure to click listen for the time I'm going blind. Special instructional messages, like this one, are marked with a blue scroll, so you can easily refer back to them when needed. Ah, that was very loud. Priests predict that the city will be blessed with a perfect inundation in the coming year. Oh, that's good. Oh, no. Well, there's no one to run the firehouse because all the fires burnt down. <laughs> all the houses burnt down, not all the fires. <laughs> all the fires have burned down. No. There's no more. <laughs> Too few people of working age are available to fill the city's jobs. Unless you find new workers quickly. <laughs> I glitched out. I've got a bug. I need a patch. Unless you find new workers quickly, city services will deteriorate. De deteriorate. I need a 1. version 1.1 update. Services will, city services will deteriorate and industrial production will suffer. <laughs> oh dear, okay. <sighs> we'll go away, win eh? Let me build it! Just let me build it. Okay. Build housing. All right, fire, whatever. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop it. This is just... This is just ridiculous, you guys. Come on, like, why do you... This is not the George. You're not getting the George done today. <laughs> ah, memes are fun. Do, do, do. Okay. Now what do you, what do you want now? What does, it, what does it want from me? What's the what's the um six mega shanties? Well, okay. Oh, I was saying some stuff to do that before. Oh yeah, it did. I don't know. Good, good night, admit. Well done. You've managed to supply this villager's granary with food. <laughs> I'm the only one being amused by this. Ah, oh dear, this video. Now, the villagers need access to clean water from a water supply, which is much preferred over well water. Water supply. Like wells, these must be built on land with underlying groundwater, as indicated by the presence of green grass growing. Water supplies also need access to an employee in nearby housing. Once up and running, a water supply will displatch, displatch, displatch. Once up and running, a water supply will dispatch a water carrier to deliver buckets of clean drinking water to all the houses in his immediate vicinity. Click overlays colon water to see which houses have access to clean water from a water supply, to simple well water, or to no water source at all. To complete this mission, you need to provide six... <laughs> <sighs> to complete this mission, you need to provide six sturdy huts with food from a bazaar, so they'll evolve into, quote, meager shanties, unquote. <laughs> Click on the scroll icon to review your mission objectives in this and any other mission. Ah, okay. uh, we
Certain large structures in your city will collapse without adequate maintenance. To ensure this does not happen, build an architect's post. Like the firehouse, this structure dispatches workers, in this case, architects, to patrol the streets and repair any damaged buildings encountered. Oh, I thought that was just the default thing that it said, but it actually said something else. I thought it was going to say, you could right click to get rid of this message, but it said something else. I'm doing it slightly different. Our chef commander coffee is streaming. Hmm. I'm busy making a video, otherwise I'd be watching. That guy's cool. Tanamiga Shanty? Come on. Oh. <laughs> Give me the Mega Shanties. I opened these. Delete them. I'll only delete it if it's a certain type of message. Let's not delete blue ones. What are you. What? What's happening? Dude was full, like. What? How are people being hurt? I can see everything on this map is on my screen right now. Like, I can't, you know. It's not like there's something I'm not seeing. There's no bad guys. Evolve into mega shanties. <laughs> Do it now. Priests predict that the city will be blessed with a perfect inundation in the coming year. Good. The water extends one tile extra than the rest of the land. I probably have boats spawn in. Like they're more than one tile long, so they need and they only if you yeah, normally you'd only see one part of it come in. But the way that the map the way that the engine is designed says that when something spawns it needs to spawn on all of the tiles that it has, like that it occupies. All at once, you can't spawn half of a unit onto the screen at once. So the water extends one tile extra than the land in order to, so that it, objects can spawn but only have one tile visible of its full size. That's my theory. What's the thing they say? That's just a game theory. <laughs> Something like that. I can't even name right. I've. Uh, unsubscribed. <laughs> Just not good enough. Evolving to big shanties. I've got a bazaar, it's right here. And there's heaps of people. Why haven't. They've got plenty of food. They need. The nearby buildings are having a detrimental effect on the desirability of the location. Well... Not much I can do about it, mate. Come on. 
do the thing. How is it not finished yet? When it slows down just slightly when the game gets saved. Something happens. Slowly gets faster and faster up to full speed. Or maybe it's when the Nilo meter. <laughs> when the Nile floods or defloods. Unfloods, I might say. Returns to normal. Finished. Evolve. Evolve. I was going to say evolve. Ah, look, I'll get rid of this hunting lodge then if you don't like it. What about now? Firehouse is having a detrimental effect. Oh, you're terrible. There we go, Mega Shanty. There's one, two, I need five or six. I've built things too close to things and it's having a knock-on effect. Okay. Well done. By Thank filling you. your people's bellies with nourishing food and protecting their homes from fire and collapse, you have helped this fledgling civilization take its first step on the long road of history. Okay. After many years and the passing of a generation, your family has resettled in the area of Inis in Upper Egypt. Here, a small band of local rulers is attempting to extend its influence over Lower Egypt and all lands along the River Nile and to unite this realm under its own house with one supreme leader. Establishing Thinis as a thriving city like nothing ever seen before will prove the worthiness of the Thinite Confederacy and help them gain supremacy over Lower Egypt and the other factions vying for power. In time, this will mean providing the population with entertainment and building wonderful temples to worship the region's patron deity. To build a city this grand will require a substantial supply of cash. You'll cash. find rich deposits Sorry. of gold ore in this. <coughs> And harvesting them should be your first priority. Okay. Mining gold. Search rocky areas for the presence of metal ore, evidenced by shiny metallic patches along the rocks, among the rocks. In order to extract the ore, you must build gold mines adjacent, adjacent adjacent to these veins. Palace. A palace is needed to convert the raw gold ore as well as to store the resulting gold bullion. The palace is the seat of the city's government and must be built where there is suitable access to groundwater. Grassy areas. Once your palace is up and running, Miners will deliver gold ore from any gold mines for conversion into cash, counted in debens. Crime. With a supply of cash in reserve, however, comes the risk of theft. Constables can help reduce losses through theft, both by patrolling the streets to prevent crime and by subduing any criminals they encounter. The best way to prevent crime, though, is to keep your population happy with adequate food, health care, and jobs. All right. Oh, I can act I actually can move on around on this one. There's no blankness. Okay. 
There we go. We'll do this. We'll do... Oh, don't go away. Don't go away. Did I lose that money because of that? That sucks. Architect's post. Police station. Village palace. Firehouse. Where's the fire? Oh, I'm right there. <laughs> okay. Stop with the fires already. About the fire. Okay. Raw materials, gold mine. One here, here, one here. Ah, oh, all the houses are on fire. go around instead of through there ah uh, this is ridiculous an Egyptian city cannot truly flourish without suitable places of worship in the form of religious temples and shrines these should be located close to the homes that they serve and must be dedicated to one of five gods Osiris god of the Nile Ra, god of the kingdom. Ta, god of craftsmen. Seth, god of destruction. Bast, or Bast? Don't know. Goddess of the home. Every city has different religious tendencies. In a given city, one god is usually held in particularly high esteem and is referred to as its patron god while the other gods are worshipped as mere local deities. And others may be completely unknown. The patron god of Thinis is Bast. Both patron gods and local deities can become hostile if not shown the respect due their positions. To appease the gods, build enough temples and shrines dedicated to each of them to serve your current population. A working temple sends a priest through nearby neighborhoods, granting residents access to the worship of his god. Festivals. Festivals are another way to appease the gods. Build a festival pavilion in the city and instruct your overseer of the temples to hold a festival for one of the gods. Overseer of the temples. Consult the overseer at the temples of the temples to determine the status of each of the gods in any particular city and whether the gods are sufficiently appeased. Lightning bolts indicate that the god is feeling hostile towards your city, while a blue mystic symbol indicates that the god is feeling benevolent towards your city. The more you see of either, the more likely your city is to feel the god's presence, for better or worse. Click on Overlay's religion to see which houses in the university are served by devils. Stop. As your city becomes more advanced, some citizens can enjoy leisure time activities such as taking in a little entertainment. A wide assortment of entertainment is one of the hallmarks of a truly cultured city. But currently, you can only provide entertainment in the form of jugglers. Entertainment venues and jugglers. The juggler needs a venue at which to perform. The smallest of which is called a booth. Build a booth at an intersection to stage juggling performances and a juggler school nearby to train performers. Both need access to employee housing and enough workers to staff them. 
Jugglers trained at the school will proceed to any nearby booth to put on shows, imparting a modest amount of entertainment to the surrounding area. Consult your FCA of this bridge to look at one by the city's recreation needs to cover this entertainment to see what you guys in the city of Texas turn to. Okay. I like reading that as like small text. There was a guy there. Ah, oh, could you look? I haven't built the road yet because you keep distracting me with you talking about gods and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Yes, well there will be if you just <laughs> shut up and give me a second. <laughs> oh, it's always sad stuff. As if the granary is on fire. That's ridiculous. You've got to be joking me. <laughs> That's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, well, I don't have a... Um... Where's the bazaar? I don't have a bazaar. Uh, let's make a bazaar. Okay. Now we're good. We're on the serious go, man. Okay. And trying to bust. Yes, yes. Make a little thingy here. There we go. Just a little square. As if the palace burned down or something. That's ridiculous. I should have done all that later on. Ah, oh, it needs to be green. Put it out by the water because it's cool to do that. It's what the cool people do. Alright. Don't have any money. Making a festival anyway. <laughs> Valve! Oh, uh, water, I don't even have <laughs> I forgot water. Um... No one can accept these goods. That's okay. I can use the rest. Ah, uh, whatever, bro. Crazy. Crazy bro. Um Alright, now there should be plenty of people. Oh not more roads. Uh, oh I stopped with the fires already. Okay, 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 okay. Stop. Just stop. Whoa, they upgraded fast. I guess I'll make more of this stuff. Where else? I don't have a police station. Oh no, I do have one. Looks. Yeah, 
Yes, yes, I know. I'll get the money back. It's all right. Got lots of gold. But I didn't mean to do that. Um, I don't want these. Ones. Well, I have to keep those ones a little. Okay. Now what? I need 10 ordinary cottages, which is those ones. This should just happen eventually on its own, I imagine. Although my uh, planning was pretty mediocre. <laughs> Hang on, what was it there? Ooh. What do they need? Food. They need food. I mean, you do. So, so fine, whatever. Excellent! You have built the first true city in this unforgiving land, providing for your citizens' corporal and spiritual needs, and have helped the Thinite Confederacy unify the divided land. It's what I do! The Thinite nobles still struggle to unite the lands of the Nile under one supreme ruler. To aid them in their cause, it is hoped that you will endeavor to establish a thriving community at Perwajit in the humid delta region of Lower Egypt, thus spreading their influence throughout the length of the sacred river. To support a population larger than that of a village, you must learn to use agriculture. Egyptian farmers have All begun right. to exploit the rich fertile soil deposited by the annual inundation of the Nile River for growing crops. The Nile can be hazardous, however. Many dangers lurk along its banks and in its waters, such as deadly crocodiles, hippopotamuses, and malaria-carrying <laughs> mosquitoes. All right, cool. Well, I will do this in the next video. That will be enough for this one. Oh, that will be fun. All right. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that you have a good day. Peace.